Hi, we are Brian and Krista. Follow along as we share our journey on Section E of the Great Divide Trail. Welcome to day 30. Brian and I checked out of our motel. It's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. We only have 6K today, so technically today is a quote unquote rest day, even though we're hiking. And then tomorrow we're really going to be starting section E, which is a nine day section. So our packs are very full and heavy. Same outfit as the previous section. <laughs> Nothing's changed. Did you bring another outfit? Same socks, <laughs> same pants, same You didn't shirts. bring any fresh socks? I got lots, but I'm saving them. So we're here at our camp spot and we decided to eat dinner a little bit earlier than normal and we have a vegan red curry with rice and red pepper and cauliflower and zucchini and pineapple and it just tastes so nutritious good morning welcome to day 31 i'm having my coffee in the tent this morning because the bugs are so bad and my wonderful husband brought it to me and today is going to be the biggest day that brian's joined me on we have the most climbing that we ever have and um it's 23 kilometers so not huge in terms of length but with all the climbing it's definitely going to be that'll slow us down a lot we're just going to climb a thousand meters right out of the the get-go here i think we're both starting to feel that excitement of getting to the alpine like i don't know about you babe but i get excited and it like that excitement pushes me mm -hmm. to keep going even though it's hard i just like one foot in front of the other i'm just stoked to get there Trying to breathe, but the air feels just like water. You're making me weak now. What doesn't kill you makes you. Our hands touch once or twice. We should let them intertwine. I'm looking at you and I feel the tension. Continuing to push up. We're in the Alpine now. We're just saying it feels kind of like Lord of the Rings. The wind's picking up. And we're in this kind of barren. <laughs> landscape it's beautiful we're very excited to finish our climbing okay we've gained our first mountain pass of the day we have two mountain passes but we're done the majority of our climbing which is a great feeling and it feels like some weather is rolling in on us so we might have to gear up into our rain gear soon the rain has arrived We've gained our second mountain pass. Here's the cairn. And I mean, it's still very beautiful, but the rain's really coming in on us now. So I don't think we're gonna wanna stop much at all. We just pushed hard to our, I guess this is our third mountain pass of the day. And hopefully our final pass Based on the GPS, we think we just drop from here all the way to the lake we're gonna camp at. And it's soggy and we're both pretty wet. Wow, blown away by how stunning this place is. We made it to Pinto Lake, which means we are a couple of hundred meters from our camp spot. It's so beautiful here. Good morning on day 32. We have a 29 kilometer day today, so the longest day distance that Brian's done with me. And we woke up at a pretty good time. Brian is rustling over there, getting everything we need for breakfast. So he's gonna go make coffee and I am going to pack up. Oh, that sun. After our nice coffee by the lake, we are on the move again. And I have to admit, I'm not super stoked about how wet and cold my feet are. 
and about what inevitably I think we're gonna have to ford in a few hundred meters. So I'm feeling a little uh, discouraged. I'm struggling. I'm hungry and wet and tired and Brian's looking after me. But today is a hard day for me. Well, I missed the 500 marker, but here's the 700. Wow, what a surreal feeling. I just wanted to clarify that, even though today has been a suffer fest for me, it doesn't mean I don't want to be here and it doesn't mean I'm not grateful for being here. There have been so many moments today where I'm just filled with like immense gratitude that I'm here and that I walked here and like the mountains let me be here but it's still physically and mentally been a tough day and some days are just simply tougher than others depending on what my body's doing where i'm at emotionally and how fatigued i am there's brian Baby, I just want to take a second to appreciate how much people can improve in the mountains. Like, only two years ago, I would have been waiting here for half an hour for you. Yeah, I just ran down that mountain. And now I turn around and he's <laughs> sprinting. <laughs> like, it's no problem. Like, in two years, huge changes. And my knees feel better because of it. Because he's going, he's not trying to go so he's slow. Yeah. So, I just want to highlight that, like, if you feel like there's not a chance you could move with confidence in this terrain there is a chance it's possible you too can living do proof <laughs> Pretty good sleep, it was clear all night, and we woke up, our alarm went off, and the first raindrop started. I'm really, really hungry. I think I actually had more food on my last nine day section on my own than I do now. So we've got this one 300 meter climb up Jonas, Jonas's shoulder, and then it's pretty much all descend to camp. So this is our cruisiest day yet, and we've definitely got our stride as a hiking partner ship. We made it the highest point of our day today. Jonas's shoulder. Oh. <laughs> so stunning. So we got where we came from behind me and then where we're going on this side behind me. There's the trail. We made it to camp eight hours to do 29k so we did a great job 9 30 to 5 30. welcome to day 34. we are hiking into an alternate today so the great divide trail there's a regular route and then there's what they call approved alternates which are routes that are off the regular route but also get you back onto the regular route moment right here walking towards this beautiful alpine lake also known as a tarn with my love following me it's just absolutely pure happiness I just I'm just 
so happy in this moment. We're not done our day. And I said something very out of character for me because we're not at camp yet. But I said, Brian, we have to swim. <laughs> it's very, it's so very nice. taking spot. Like, so we're gonna do a little swim. Is that, baby? <laughs> oh, this is the best. <laughs> In this element. <laughs> We're now on the six passes route, which means that we are route finding. There's no trail anymore. So lots of talk about which way to go, reading the terrain. And we're looking up at where we need to go here, which is this saddle. Whoa, the saddle where the snow is. So we're gonna actually try to go just here where we can sneak through where there's no snow. So I think we're gonna try to get one push up to the saddle here and then I'll check in again because I'm very curious to see what's on the other side. We made it! And look at this. Wow. So we're gonna camp down there. <sighs> And then also where we came from. So stunning. Look at those lakes. First night in Six Passes and we are in this beautiful alpine meadow looking out at I'm sitting in the tent right now because the mosquitoes are pretty bad looking out at this absolute stunning rock wall cathedral of mountains and Brian and I just feel so lucky and so happy we're here right now oh we've almost gained our second pass of the day and we're actually trying to do four today we made it to the top and the bugs won. They just got so in my head. Oh, my neck's exposed. And I just had to put on these bug proof layers. But we're doing okay. And it's really pretty. I just can't see it super well. So I'll look at this footage later. That's where we're headed down there. Okay, we successfully gained our third mountain pass of the day. We're aiming for four. We'll probably reassess in a little bit, make sure we're both feeling okay, but it is a really hard day because it's challenging hiking, challenging walking. There's no trail, so it's much more challenging. And also navigating and constantly checking the route is really mentally fatiguing. We're down off of our third pass, so we were just discussing whether or not we should push the fourth, and we just both decided we should, and we can. So we're gonna push, it's 3.30, so the final pass, we've got a climb up above me, we drop down, and then we have a final climb up to where we were planning on camping, which is at an alpine lake or a tarn. We made it to our beautiful private lake, and I just finished setting up the tent and it's just such a great spot for the night. And Brian is cooking dinner for us because we're both so hungry. We're having our coffee in the tent this morning. It is pouring rain and, and snow. snowing outside. So we're just contemplating what we should do. Thank you. And the snow is accumulating on the tent. Likely the first part of the day we'll be walking on top of snow. And then maybe as we descend, maybe the snow won't have stuck. How do you feel about scrambling on snow? Not great. 
day 36 and we successfully I think waited out the first part of the storm at least and it's just beautiful here it snowed last night we're going up to this ridge day hikers come and it is wild <laughs> to see so many people out and about. We just ran into a really awesome couple on their honeymoon and we're like, hey, we're on our honeymoon too. So Brian and I were just absolutely social butterflies because we miss socializing. <laughs> to camp we're at Evelyn Creek which is on the Skyline Trail in Jasper National Park and it's awesome to be at a campground and we just took a little inventory of the snacks we have left or actually the total food we have left and it's very little we have two more days tonight and tomorrow night and we're looking pretty sparse so we've got eight shells with peanut butter. So that's good for like a breakfast and a lunch. We've got four Mama Ann bars for a snack, some ra raisins, noon for hydration, two dates, <laughs> one dehydrated dinner, curry, Four almonds, <laughs> half a bag of crunchy lentils, and a quarter of a bag of mango pieces for two people for two days. Whew. Day 37, we woke up at five and we're already hiking at 7.30. And it's snowing on us a little bit, but our goal is to hike the whole Skyline Trail today. So we have a lot of distance to do. So we're trying to motor. We'll let you know how it goes. Just pretty hungry. How are you feeling, babe? I'm getting hungry as well. Yeah. If only we could find the culprit of all of our food being eaten. So. I've been looking far and wide. So Brian, <laughs> finally apologized this morning for being very heavy on eating the snacks at the beginning of this leg and I told him I don't think that we can afford this we don't have enough food but at the beginning when you have nine days of food it looks like a lot but we've realized <laughs> Brian realized <laughs> that rationing is very important hey it is yeah So we're sitting here having a snack, contemplating if we want to hike 40K today so we can get to Jasper for food because we're both starving. And a bee flew into our lentils and did not realize it's like close to the end of all the calories we have. And we were both very concerned. <laughs> Doesn't it know we need these cows? We made it to the notch, which I think is the highest point on the Skyline Trail. So we came up from down here and we're going towards Jasper this way. So it's really cool to see that we just have to drop down now. We're both, we have like zero energy in the bank. We're tuckered out. Okay, so we made to, to, I can't even talk, I'm so hungry. We made it to Takara campsite and we've eaten all of our food. Except for dinner. We've eaten all of our food now, except for our dinner for tonight. And we are having a noon because there's one calorie. <laughs> 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 
And we're honestly just getting pretty desperate here. Like Brian and I are both. Yeah, I don't We've even know. We've also hiked 25k. I mean, yeah, we hiked. We it's 25k <laughs> from Evelyn hours. to here in six hours. So like, we are also tired from hiking, but we're definitely feeling the deficit of uh, not enough fuel and too many kilometers to do. I don't think we'll forget this one, hey love. No. We successfully made it off the Skyline Trail. We've now hiked about 35 kilometers today. My longest day yet, definitely Brian's longest day. And I'm having a bit of a tough time pushing myself down this fire, old fire road. But Brian seems to be doing fine. I'm highly food motivated. We think we're gonna find a restaurant about half a K or maybe a K along the road after the end of this trail. So that's what's pushing us. And we're probably like two or three K away now. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're at a restaurant. We're at a restaurant. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> and here is our <laughs> vegan <laughs> absolute feast. Today is the last day of section. E. It's about noon and we're making the final little 10k walk to town. Anything else to add, love? No. We'll see you in Jasper. They have smoothies. Okay, we're back walking again. We stopped for food and coffee and we both feel way better. <laughs> in every way including emotionally <laughs> we were trying to talk to each other before and it was just our discussions just weren't going anywhere so we've got about 5k to go until showers laundry more food and rest oh it's gonna be good